The ban list is upon us. And everyone wants to know, is Electromite coming back, Konami, or is it not? And today, thanks to my cousin who works at Konami, I have the answer. Let's go. <laughs> Now before we get into this video, if you want to figure out what the real balance is for my cousin at Konami's uncle, then you guys need to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button as well, let's get this video to 1000 likes and the video channel to 50,000 subscribers! So go do so, right now, and then go check out the links below. And after that, I'm gonna hit you guys with the very first bomb that's gonna happen, that you guys are gonna see. We're gonna start with Ben, and the first card being banned in this format! is red eyes dragoon dragoon must be banned now why do i say this i know what you're thinking trip thinks dragoon should be banned trip do you suck at this game probably but dragoon is still getting banned why because it's not about me it's not about you either it's about the noobs that can't deal with dragoon if you're entering in this game for the first time in months or years and you face this guy, look at him. This guy then lifts like four or five easily with one arm. This guy needs to be gone, bro. Causes too many problems for new players. And I understand new players could play this card. Too many problems. See you later, bro. Join Electromite in the ban list later. That's not that card's gone. I'm telling you guys right now. The next card that's getting banned is Ben 10 or Eva. One of these cards have got to go. It's the fact that Ben 10 is searchable by a thousand ways. So yes, Ben 10 to 1 seems like it hurts, but does it now? Does it? You have preparation of rights. You have Alpha. You have Cyber Emergency to get the Alpha. You have Nova to get the Alpha. You have a billion ways to get Ben 10. That's not even it. You have uh, extra foolish burial to send Herald. You have Diviner to send Herald. Like, you have way too many ways to get Ben 10. I understand it's at 1, but it's more like it's at 17, because that's how many ways you can get this card. So it just needs to go. If Eva goes, it kind of does the same thing, but Ben 10, see you later, bro. The next card that gets banned is Imperial Order. And by the way, no bias here. Imperial Order does, does nothing in Pendulum, because Pendulum is the best deck, so I don't care about this card. But actually, I do. So this card can get the fuck out of here. That card's getting banned, absolutely. Here's the thing with cards like this, okay? Why are you playing, why is Order at 1? If it's at three, you can prepare for it. If it's at one, you just magically run. Oh, I'm so good at this game. I drew an Imperial Order on my 40 card deck, one of. No, I'm not trying to lose the sack. Get that shit out of here, bro. Same, my, my same logic with Red Reboot. That shit should be at zero too. But I'm gonna leave it here because I think this is enough prejudice for one. I don't even know what prejudice means. I think that's enough bias for one time. So that's it for the banned cards. Now on to the limited! And speaking of bias, don't worry. Electromite's gonna stay limited. Listen, of all people in the world, I understand how powerful Electromite is. So why would I want this card to come back when I understand how good it is? We don't need Electromite! Electromite, listen, we don't need Electromite and it's not going back. And besides, Electromite sucks. Like, wait, why would we need a- I'M FUCKING JOKING, YOU IDIOTS! Electromite fucking coming back! It's coming back, this battle is! It's coming back! It's coming back! It's coming back! And if it doesn't, I'm gonna knock you all out with my slipper! And I need it! Because it's coming back, baby! Electromite is coming back on this list! And we're gonna reunite with my baby, I can't wait! And Electromite's coming back, mark my words! Mark my words, and guess what? Electromite ain't gonna be alone, baby! Electromite's gonna have a best friend! They're gonna come together, side by side, on locked in arm, from the bad list to the limited list! Electromite and Kieran, baby! They're all coming back! Let's go! They're all coming back together. Mark my words. Ah, oh, that hurt my back, bro. I'm getting old. Anyways, on to the next limited cards. Did I mention Kieran and Electromite are coming back? Cause they are, bro! They're both coming back! Whether you like it or not, they're both coming back! Next on our limited list, we got Omen. Shurag, Omen, Tri Brigade. This, this deck's trash, but. It's still, if this card gets limited to one, it is even better than Re Revolt getting limited to one. The thing with Revolt is, you search Revolt every time with Bear Bro. Hence, who cares if Revolt's at five or at one? It's still searchable every turn. But, by Omen being at one, now the Revolt, even if you have three of them, does jack shit. 
And on top of that, Omen at 1 ensures that the turn 1 play, you can't play Rescue Cat, you can't play Zodiacs to make sure you have a Link 4 to summon Omen for free. All that just thrown out the window, because if you go Omen turn 1 now, now your Revolt can't go into Omen, so Omen instantly, and the whole deck just becomes trash in the grind game. Omen at 1 solves so many issues with Tri Brigade, it's unbelievable. It does far more than what Revolt does and all that. And in fact, I still don't think that's enough. I, Konami wants to push their new product. They have to make the new decks, or the old decks a little weaker. So Tanky will also go to 1. It's not going to do the biggest thing, but it just slightly brings down the consistency a bit. And makes Zodiacs a little worse. Can't play Rescue Cat because of it. Now you're basically just playing pure Tri Brigade. And I think that's just the best thing to do for this ban list for those cards. Next, you can't let Prank Kids go untouched. Meow Meow to 1. Now, does this make their turn 1 play way better? I mean, uh, does it affect their turn 1 play? Fuck no. Their turn 1 play stays the exact same. But now, they become way more susceptible to hand traps. You stop that first Prank Kid, they don't have a poly. They can't Meow Meow next turn. So now turn 2, you need 2 Prank Kids. So it becomes way more difficult for them to play. And I think this is something that will be amazing against Prank Kid. To make them actually more scared of hand traps. Lastly on the limited list is Seal. You can't leave Dragon Link untouched. And it's the same idea as the Meow Meow. The thing with Seal is you can go Seal, Turbo, Turn 1, Turn 2. Turn... Having multiple Seals is very good. Do I have multiple Electromites? I don't even have one. So as far as I'm concerned, Seal could... Could go, could go to the limited list, all right? There's a few other cards could be here. Like, basically every shit card in Yu-Gi-Oh! that's banned that should come, probably come back. I'm sure there's going to be some random surprise. That could probably be a one. And now for the unlimited, semi-limited. <laughs> Let me take off my robe for this one. Semi-limited. Skunker Bad Joker, come back to Poppy! Skunker Bad Joker is coming back. Why? Because we're sticking to the game plan, baby. And Skunker Bad's coming back along with Double Iris to three. In Konami, they always do this, okay? They bring a card back from the ban list to one. They want to see how it goes. It's not that powerful. Joker's not like Electromite. They want to see the power. want to see how, what happens. Guess what? No one in the fucking world plays Joker except for me and you guys because we all have brains. Well, guess what? Guess what? That's why Joker is going to two. And that's why the list after that, Joker's going to three. It's called Logic and my cousin told me. So... It's just a fact. Now for the very last card on this list. I don't care because it's a fact and I have mathematical proof to prove it. Maxi is coming back to three and I have mathematical proof. So this is why it's coming back. My cousin told me so. Let's fucking go, baby. That's it. And you know what? There's another reason why it's also coming back. It's coming back because Crossout Designator just got released. Konami wants to push Crossout Designator badly. Of course, this is the new, like, broken staple that they want everyone to have three of in their deck. How do you stop Maxi, guys? Can you guys please tell me? Get called by, you know, it's at one. What about Crossout fucking Designator? It stops Maxi. So in order to push cross out designator uh, so every single player in the meta plays it it's mathematical scientific proof everyone's gonna need three cross out designator in the side deck or main deck to stop the max c hence max is coming back not to one not to two but to fucking three boys and i'm bank it bank it bro put that shit down i'll put money down on this if you want to challenge me on this i'm i'll do odds that's how serious that's how, how obvious i know max is coming back because it is coming back baby and guess what you want a maxi against my pendulum deck? You want a maxi? I'm gonna take on the maxi challenge and OTK your ass. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today's video was sponsored by the best deck pendulum. So go check out the links down below and check out some cool pendulum things. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below if you agree with my list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thank you guys for watching that video. Now I'm going to show you guys a little preview of my Patreon video today. Every single pay every single YouTube video we post, I'll be posting a part two on Patreon. Literally every single YouTube video. So if content like this interests you, it's a five minute bonus video with in the addition with every single YouTube video. Go check out the links down below and sign up on Patreon. You get a massive discount for yearly memberships, literally 15% off for a yearly membership. I recommend it down below if you guys love your boy. Anyways, this is just a little preview of today's Patreon video. Let's go. Today, I want to discuss what I think is the best monetize, like money-wise investment in Yu-Gi-Oh! I could possibly think of right now. If you guys have trade binders, or if you guys actively trade at locals, or, or actively just buy cards to try and get them to 
you get more value in the future what i'm going to say is probably going to net you net you like 10 years worth of patreon memberships here <laughs> but if you guys have trades do whatever you guys can to trade for maxi okay if maxi is ever coming back put your money down on it that is coming back in this list why because of 